Hello friends, today we will be seeing about sacral plexus and lumbar plexus block. The sacral plexus block is performed by drawing the line from the posterior superior iliac spine to, be, to the ischial tuberosity. Divide this line into the proximal one third and distal two third. And that point will be the entry, entry for your nerve stimulator needle. The low local anesthetic has been given at the proximal one third and the distal two third at the point at the point and nerve stimulator needle is used we start with 1.5 milliamperes with the patient in lateral position as you introduce the needle first you will el elicit the gluteus maximus contraction that is nothing but your superior gluteal nerve stimulation so once you get it, you are in the line of path of your sciatic nerve. So as you advance, so as you advance further, one or two centimeters further inside, you will elicit the plantar response. So now you are getting getting the plantar response. So. I have to read, I have adjusted needle a bit to get the plantar response. So nothing much. Easy procedure to do the, uh, this is a type of Mansu's posterior approach to sacral plexus. And you start with 1.5 milliamperes, you reduce down to the de decide 0.4 milliamperes response and then you give the drug so you see whether 1, 1 milliamperes you are getting it the plantar response yes 0.7 yes you are getting the plantar response and 0.5 you are getting the plantar response we will check it we will check it and it 0.5 you are getting the plantar response and you reduce it down further but point 0.3 and point 0.2 you should not get the plantar response because you may be intraneural. 0.38 that is 0.4 that is you are not, not getting any plantar response. You further increase a bit to 0 0.46, 0 0.48 and something and if you get the plantar response yeah you are getting the plantar response that's a nice stimulus to get give the drug give 20 ml of 0.5 percentage bupuricane for the successful sighting this is lumbar plexus block by capdula's approach it's the same like that you start with 1.5 milliamperes and you get your quadriceps contraction the with these both these approaches you can fix proximal tibia fractures shaft distal Femoral contact. Thank you.